Hey guys, Brad Scott here from bradscottvisuals.com. Today we're gonna to be talking about Instagram TV and how you can edit your videos from your video camera, not from your phone, to upload to Instagram TV as either this landscape mode to where people turn their devices sideways or vertical mode. So we're gonna hop over to Adobe Premiere CC and I've imported this uh, Lake Tahoe demo reel just by going to file, import, and I found it on my desktop. And now we're gonna start a new sequence, okay? So we're gonna go to file, new, sequence, and you wanna go to settings, scroll up and click custom, and you can pick your frame rate. I like to use 23.976 frames per second for that cinematic look. And you can see in our aspect ratio here for 1920 by 1080, which is full HD, it's 16 by nine, but that's landscape mode. So in order to be able to upload it to Instagram TV and have it as that vertical mode, we're gonna wanna swap these over, okay? So you're gonna change this 1920 to 1080 and change the 1080 to 1920. And as you can see now it says nine by 16 aspect ratio. Uh, you can leave square pixels, display format. It's just the time code for 23.976 frames per second. Uh, everything else here looks good. Click, uh, we can name it. Let's just call this IGTV tutorial. We're gonna click okay. So now, as you can see, we've got in our little composition here, a vertical frame. So what you can do is you can drag your video clip in. It's gonna ask you if you wanna match the sequence set settings. So just say, keep existing settings. And if you want it to be a vertical video, all you have to do is go to effect controls. So make sure your clip is selected. Go to effect controls, and we're just gonna scale it up until it fills the whole entire frame. And we can play it back real fast and just see how it looks. We can move it left to right if we, we think anything is being cropped out too much. So let's go ahead and click play on this real fast. So if I wanted to move this around at all, let's say, I want to line it up with more of a, a left feel. I would just take this horizontal slider and move it to wherever I wanted it to go. Okay. If I wanted to move it up and down, I could do that, but obviously we don't want to do that. So that's how you do it vertically. If you want to have it to where people turn their phones sideways, all you have to do is go to rotation here within the same effect controls tab and just type in 90 degrees and it's gonna be sideways and then you're just gonna scale it down to where the sides are matching. And we tweaked it a little bit, so it should be right around 150. We're just gonna go 151 and then we're gonna slide it to the left here until the entire box is filled. And then if we play it again, you'll see that it's going to be sideways. So now we want to export this to where we can upload it to Instagram TV. So we're going to make sure our clip is selected and click File, Export, Media. And it's going to open up these export settings. So what I like to do is click Match Source, but I'm going to change it to Medium Bitrate. That way we're gonna save a little bit of the upload data that we have to upload to Instagram TV. So I'm just gonna name this as Instagram tutorial video and save it to my desktop. Click save. And then we're gonna click Q, which is gonna export it using Adobe Media Encoder. So we're just gonna wait for that to open and we're gonna select the clip and click play and that's going to render out our video so that it could be uploaded to Instagram TV. So as that's 
rendering. I'm just going to show you. We're going to head over to Instagram.com. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, you can follow me. My handle is at Brad Scott Visuals. Go ahead and give me a follow. Uh, I love saying hi to you guys, giving you guys tips, and you can see more of my behind the scenes stuff when I'm out shooting photos and videos and drone content. But when you go to your own Instagram channel, you just want to make sure that you click on your profile here, this little guy on the upper right hand corner, and it'll look like this with all your posts. And what you want to do is click on IGTV and then you can see this blue upload button. Now, if you don't want to do it through the desktop app, what you can do is use wetransfer.com. So I'll just open up a new tab, go to wetransfer.com, and you can send the, the file to yourself to like your own email and then download it onto your phone and upload it through the IGTV app, which you'll have to search for in the Apple App Store or the Android App Store, the Google Play App Store, sorry. So we're just gonna go out of here. We're gonna upload it onto our Instagram TV through the desktop. So we're gonna click on Upload and we're gonna select the clip that just got rendered out. And it's this one right here that says IGTV tutorial video. And as you can see, it doesn't look like a normal video. It almost looks like just a, a JPEG photo, but if you highlight over it, you can see that it says MP4 file. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And the cover photo is gonna be basically the first clip of the video and we're gonna go ahead and let that upload up here we'll give it a title so i'm going to say lake tahoe cinematography reel here are some of my favorite video clips I have captured a beautiful Lake Tahoe, including time-lapse photography and aerial footage. And I can put my website in here. And you can also use hashtags in the Instagram TV. I think it's, it failed because I've got two other Wii transfers going on and there's a ton of people in Tahoe right now, so the internet is total shit. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna put some hashtags in here. I'll do hashtag like Tahoe. Hashtag Tahoe, hashtag aerial video, hashtag drones. Just put in all the different hashtags that you normally use. So there you have it, guys. It's as simple as that. You can either upload it through the Instagram desktop app or through the iPhone or Android app and have this awesome landscape version of Instagram TV. So all the people have to do that are viewing your videos is just turn their, their phone sideways and you're not gonna crop out any of the important stuff. Um, I'll be doing some more tutorials on how to shoot your video camera in a vertical mode for Instagram TV to where you can actually upload it as a portrait mode video and uh, show you how to edit that as well. But I hope that helped you guys. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram and if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash Brad Scott Visuals. And we'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.